When Ron Casey passed away earlier this year, people looked back on an extraordinary television career. And perhaps the interview that turned out to be his signature interview was the one he conducted with the great Rocky Marciano, here in these studios back in 1966. Time to introduce our John Brown sports star of the day. And we're leaving football for this week and we're going to introduce to you one of the great personalities of the world of sport. I refer to Rocky Marciano. Rocky Marciano, as a professional boxer, fought 49 times he was never beaten. He won 43 fights by knockout. He won the world title in 1952. He defended it six times and retired undefeated. We're very happy to say welcome to World of Sport to Rocky Marciano. And in just one moment, we'll be speaking with our John Brown sports star, Rocky Marciano. Well, Rocky, it's great to have you here at World of Sport. <clears throat> and as you can see, all the fans here enjoy having a champion with them here in the studio. There's a champions of all sport here in Melbourne, and uh, we're very happy to have another one from America now to say hello to us throughout Victoria. Thank you, Ryan. Rocky, how do you feel about uh, the result of the heavyweight title fight this morning? Cassius Clay stopping Brian London in only three rounds. Well, it was expected. Uh, really, this was not a, a fight of importance. I think it's what Cassius Clay himself calls the bum of the month club <laughs> keeping quite busy trying to get as many fights as he can before going in the army and that I'm sure will happen uh, and so uh, it was no surprise to me because back in 59 May of 59 Floyd Patterson then the heavyweight champion of the world made easy work of Brian London and at that time uh, the American press at least didn't give Brian any kind of credit for anything in boxing. He has not been uh, thought of very much as a heavyweight uh, contender or of, as of a heavyweight fighter. And in my book, the uh, match should have never been made. How do you rate Cassius Clay? <clears throat> At this time, I rate Clay, of course, the best in the country, in the world, as a heavyweight fighter. I don't really know how good he is. He has never been a hit on the chin with a good punch. Uh, he's been able to get away from punches extremely well. In fact, I believe this is his greatest uh, asset, getting away from punches, uh, as he did in the Cooper fight. Cooper uh, couldn't hardly hit him. <coughs> and uh, <clears throat> although it was a fair fight to watch, of course, Cooper uh, didn't hit him once good. And Clay then went on to cut his eye and win the fight. And Clay, all of Clay's fights, uh, he's never been really outstanding. He is had a couple of fights with uh, Sonny Liston that um, are kind of question mark, dubious. Uh, he didn't uh, show real well in them because perhaps he didn't have a chance to show real well with not a good opponent in there. I think it's going to take a good opponent to show just how good uh, Cassius Clay is. Rocky, there's some remarkable statistics about yourself as a champion. Uh, this was the cause of the fight that you fought, or the way that you fought, in that uh, Nat Fleischer lists you as having the shortest reach of any heavyweight champion. Is this correct? Yeah, that is absolutely right. 67 inches this way here, which is not very long. Well, that's not much more than Rocky Gattolari, our flyweight champion. That's about right. Now, did you have to, uh, did you have to devise the swashbuckling style of punch fighting that you did because of the short reach? Yes, that was the big reason. I had to uh, sort of get low and try to come up, as we say, from underneath to get in close on an opponent because the closer I could get to an opponent, uh, the more damage I could do with the short arms. At, uh, at long range, I just couldn't jab with the, the great jabbers, uh, such as Joe Lewis when I fought him in 51. Uh, he had 11 inches reach on me and was able to just pop that left in my, in my face and keep me at a distance. I had to sort of crowd and um, move in on them, and that is why uh, the style was really developed. Rocky, um, I know that there were overtures made to you, uh, not entirely for reasons financial, to make a return to the ring. This was when Sonny Liston was still champion. Did you ever have the temptation to come back? It, it happened before the Sonny Liston fight, actually. Floyd Patterson became heavyweight champion a year after I retired. He then had a few fights with Archie Moore and a few other boys that uh, weren't, uh, weren't exciting at all. And then along came uh, Ingemar Johansson, the uh, good 
right hand punching fighter from Sweden. And uh, when he won that fight, and I was sitting ringside, he knocked out Floyd Patterson, and it was a dramatic punch, a straight right, right on the chin, and uh, Floyd Patterson just went backwards and never recovered from that one punch. Uh, Inga Maj Johansson became the idol, and um, there was a lot of talk, and there was a lot of uh, spirit amongst fight fans at this time. And this is when I got the urge to come back. I'd only been retired three years at the time. I wasn't uh, too far out of good condition. And I took a little vacation for myself. I went away to a training camp close to my home by myself and tried to get myself in condition again as I once did. But I just couldn't. I didn't have the same feeling. I didn't have the same um, uh, hunger. And uh, uh, for other reasons, I just couldn't concentrate on boxing as I once did. And so I thought it best not to have any publicity on it, but just to go home and call it another day. If Cassius Clay had been a challenger for your world title, would you have been confident of retaining your title against Cassius Clay? Well, I certainly would have, uh, would have enjoyed a fight with Cassius Clay. He's, uh, he's what we call a perfect opponent. He's tall, he's big, he's rangy. He's on the style of a Joe Lewis. I'm talking about physically now. Uh, he has the same abilities, perhaps not as a great a left jab as Joe Lewis, but uh, certainly abilities uh, close to Joe Lewis. Uh, I can say again, I don't know how great this man is. He could possibly be a great fighter, and time will tell. Is Cassius Clay good for boxing? Yes and no. Uh, in the beginning, yes. When, when he first came around, he really uh, got the public excited. He was calling the round, knocking out his opponents at the exact round that he said he would. Have you ever done this? No, <laughs> I never could. <laughs> it just isn't that way. It isn't that easy. Uh, most of my fights were hard fights and tough fights, and uh, I didn't have the uh, same confidence that Clay has. But uh, in the beginning, Clay was uh, good for the game. I mean, he brought a lot, a lot of new life into boxing. Uh, I remember uh, people other than boxing fans were getting interested in this young loudmouth. And then uh, he overdid it. He talked a little bit too much, a little bit too long, and he talked about the wrong things. And when he brought his religion into the picture, it sort of changed the whole entire setup of boxing. And for the last two years at least, two, two years, uh, he's been sort of bad for boxing. 